summarize uh, the shading algorithm as follows. We perform live uh, variables analysis, construct the interference graph, and then we consider one node at a time in the interference graph and either remove and push it on the stack or remove and spill it to memory. We continue like this until the uh, interference graph is empty. Then we check if there was any spill, we create tiny live ranges for the spilled nodes and uh, uh, go back to number one. And if there were no spills, then when we uh, pop the, um, the graph, the stack, we, we assign colors on the fly to uh, each node that we insert into the graph. And that means we check which uh, colors the neighbors of this uh, new node um, have and uh, select one which they don't. Okay, more about coalescing. So two nodes can be coalesced into one if they do not interfere. Uh, coalescing uh, or node merging. Coalescing is used uh, with copy statements, but it's it's actually possible to merge two nodes in the interference graph and therefore simplify it, uh, even if they are not related through a copy statement. They can be completely unrelated and sometimes they can be merged. Uh, okay. Uh, so, but as we saw, we remove the source operand. Uh, if we look here, we remove. Um, I mean, if we assume that C would be in the live uh, set when we construct the interference graph, then we remove it, so that there will be no um, edge in the interference graph between D and C when we go through all uh, variables in the live set at this definition of C. Uh, okay, that does not guarantee that there will be no uh, edge between C and D in the interference graph, because there could be an edge due to other situations. For instance, if we have this code, uh, then uh, D uh, enters the live set after we have processed this instruction. And when we come here, we make an edge between C and D. Note, there is no edge between C and D be, be, uh, due to this use, as I mentioned previously, since suppose uh, D will be allocated R3, there is, uh, uh, it's possible that, um, well, in, um, in this case it's not <laughs> possible that C could be allocated the same register since D is still used, but uh, nothing prevents, I mean, in, in, in principle, that th uh, the destination is assigned the same variable as a source opera. Okay, I mentioned that before. Um, okay, with SSA form, there would be different variables. So here we would have C1, um, D1, etc. So there would only be one um, uh, assignment to each variable, obviously, and therefore there would, would be no extra um, edges <coughs> between C and D. So they would, there would be no edge between C and D. And they would be candidates for being coalesced. Is it always a good idea to coalesce whenever we can. Okay, when I say whenever we can, I mean for correctness. Um, there is a risk beca uh, because the new leverage, which is the, U uh, I mean, the coalesced version of U and V, which we can call U, V, it will have the union of the neighbors of U and V. Okay, if they have exactly the same neighbors, then everything is fine. If they have a few more neighbors, then it may be fine. But if the new uh, node 
has um, at least k neighbors, then um, coalescing them may make the interference graph not colorable. Okay, so there have been uh, developments in how to coalesce. Shatin's original algorithm coalesced everything it could before simplifying the uh, interference graph. 